Listen and practice. Let me tell you what I know. Let me tell you what I know. Let me tell you what I know. I know that you've watched and enjoyed some very inspiring TED Talks. I know that you've watched and enjoyed some very inspiring TED Talks. I know that you've watched and enjoyed some very inspiring TED Talks. And it's also the truth that you understand and for the most part accept. And it's also the truth that you understand and for the most part accept. And it's also the truth that you understand and for the most part accept the various cases made by the presenters. The various cases made by the presenters. The various cases made by the presenters. But the truth is this. But the truth is this. But the truth is this. Very few, if any of you, have changed your behavior. Very few, if any of you, have changed your behavior. Very few, if any of you, have changed your behavior based on that knowledge. Based on that knowledge. Based on that knowledge. If you did, if we all did, if you did, if we all did, if you did, if we all did, it would profoundly change the world in which we live. It would profoundly change the world in which we live. It would profoundly change the world in which we live. So let me be the first to confess. So let me be the first to confess. So let me be the first to confess. I've watched Sir Ken Robinson make his very moving case. I've watched Sir Ken Robinson make his very moving case. I've watched Sir Ken Robinson make his very moving case for an education system that encourages and nurtures creativity. For an education system that encourages and nurtures creativity. For an education system that encourages and nurtures creativity. And I wholeheartedly agree with him. And I wholeheartedly agree with him. And I wholeheartedly agree with him. But I haven't done a thing to help make that a reality. But I haven't done a thing to help make that a reality. But I haven't done a thing to help make that a reality. I've listened to Brene Brown. I've listened to Brene Brown. I've listened to Brene Brown. Describe passionately the power of vulnerability. Describe passionately the power of vulnerability. Describe passionately the power of vulnerability. And I agree with her too. And I agree with her too. And I agree with her too. But I'm still quite guarded. But I'm still quite guarded. But I'm still quite guarded. And I've watched Amy Cuddy articulate how our body language shapes who we are. And I've watched Amy Cuddy articulate how our body language shapes who we are. And I've watched Amy Cuddy articulate how our body language shapes who we are. But I gotta tell you, I did not take a power pose. But I gotta tell you, I did not take a power pose. But I gotta tell you, I did not take a power pose before I walked out on the stage to boost my testosterone and confidence level. Before I walked out on the stage to boost my testosterone and confidence level. Before I walked out on the stage to boost my testosterone and confidence level. I think maybe I should have, you know. I think maybe I should have, you know. I think maybe I should have, you know. Let me tell you what else. I don't, uh, I don't get enough sleep. Let me tell you what else. I don't, uh, I don't get enough sleep. Let me tell you what else. I don't, uh, I don't get enough sleep. I use too many paper towels. I know that. I use too many paper towels. I know that. I use too many paper towels. I know that. I sit at my desk for hours on end without moving. I sit at my desk for hours on end without moving. I sit at my desk for hours on end without moving, and I still buy bottled water. And I still buy bottled water. And I still buy bottled water. 
What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What are we all doing? What are we all doing? What are we all doing? Now, Gandhi said the difference between what we are doing. Now, Gandhi said the difference between what we are doing. Now, Gandhi said the difference between what we are doing and what we are capable of doing and what we are capable of doing and what we are capable of doing would solve most of the world's problems. Would solve most of the world's problems. Would solve most of the world's problems. I know this difference firsthand. I know this difference firsthand. I know this difference firsthand. I mean, just recently, I was encouraged to hear from executives at a well-known organization. I mean, just recently, I was encouraged to hear from executives at a well-known organization. I mean, just recently, I was encouraged to hear from executives at a well-known organization that they fully understood and agreed with the advice I provided. That they fully understood and agreed with the advice I provided. That they fully understood and agreed with the advice I provided. Yet, when I return later to review their progress, yet, when I return later to review their progress, yet, when I return later to review their progress, I found that they had done the exact opposite. I found that they had done the exact opposite. I found that they had done the exact opposite. They'd gone right back to those stifling routines. They'd gone right back to those stifling routines. They'd gone right back to those stifling routines that existed before I got there, that existed before I got there, that existed before I got there. Now, I'm sure you've experienced similar disappointments in your life, right? Now, I'm sure you've experienced similar disappointments in your life, right? Now, I'm sure you've experienced similar disappointments in your life, right? A loved one who continued to smoke or abuse drugs despite the facts. A loved one who continued to smoke or abuse drugs despite the facts. A loved one who continued to smoke or abuse drugs despite the facts. Or a friend who resisted change in the face of overwhelming evidence. Or a friend who resisted change in the face of overwhelming evidence or a friend who resisted change in the face of overwhelming evidence. So why don't we do what we know we should do? So why don't we do what we know we should do? So why don't we do what we know we should do? What we're capable of doing, what we're capable of doing, what we're capable of doing, and solve our problems. And solve our problems and solve our problems. Why don't we take the knowledge we gain from TED Talks? Why don't we take the knowledge we gain from TED Talks? Why don't we take the knowledge we gain from TED Talks and change our world? And change our world. And change our world. What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us? You see, to me, there seems to be a disconnect. You see, to me, there seems to be a disconnect. You see, to me, there seems to be a disconnect between what we watch, read, and hear. Let's call it the data input. Between what we watch, read, and hear. Let's call it the data input. Between what we watch, read, and hear. Let's call it the data input. And our subsequent actions, the behavioral output and our subsequent actions, the behavioral output, and our subsequent actions, the behavioral output. What's wrong? Are we all broken computers? Is that, is that what the problem is? What's wrong? Are we all broken computers? Is that, is that what the problem is? What's wrong? Are we all broken computers? Is that, is that what the problem is? You see, I don't think so. I think it's that metaphor that's broken. It's a faulty metaphor that the brain is a computer. You see, I don't think so. I think it's that metaphor that's broken. It's a faulty metaphor that the brain is a computer. You see, I don't think so. I think it's that metaphor that's broken. It's a faulty metaphor that the brain is a computer. It's not. It's not. It's not. 
Computers are lifeless machines which deal in facts. They execute static programs. Computers are lifeless machines which deal in facts. They execute static programs. Computers are lifeless machines which deal in facts. They execute static programs. Then they don't care. Machines don't care. Computers don't care. Then they don't care. Machines don't care. Computers don't care. Then they don't care. Machines don't care. Computers don't care about their perceptions, their changing desires, about their perceptions, their changing desires, about their perceptions, their changing desires, whether they look good to themselves or to others, whether they look good to themselves or to others, whether they look good to themselves or to others. They're not driven at all by their futures or their desires. They're not driven at all by their futures or their desires. They're not driven at all by their futures or their desires. They don't crave control. Human beings are amazing, warm-blooded creatures who deal in their personal truths. They don't crave control. Human beings are amazing, warm-blooded creatures who deal in their personal truths. They don't crave control. Human beings are amazing, warm-blooded creatures who deal in their personal truths.